Epidemiologists study the factors that cause or prevent various health outcomes. Determining causality in public health is a complex process that relies on established guidelines rather than a single test. In 1965, Austin Bradford Hill introduced nine criteria to help assess whether a specific exposure causes a particular outcome. These criteria serve as guidelines rather than strict rules, meaning causality can still be established even if not all criteria are fully met. 1. Strength of Association A strong link between an exposure and an outcome increases the likelihood of a causal relationship. For example, Heavy smokers have a much higher risk of developing lung cancer compared to light smokers. 2. Consistency If multiple studies in different settings find the same association, it strengthens the argument for causality. The repeated finding that smoking is linked to lung cancer across numerous studies worldwide supports this criterion. 3. Specificity If an exposure leads to a single specific disease, it further supports a causal relationship. For example, the measles virus specifically causes measles and no other disease. 4. Temporality The exposure must occur before the outcome. This is considered the most essential criterion. An example is asbestos exposure, which always precedes the development of asbestosis. 5. Dose-response relationship Increased exposure should lead to a higher risk of the outcome. For instance, Higher levels of radiation exposure increase the likelihood of developing cancer. 6. Biological plausibility There should be a logical biological explanation for how an exposure causes disease. In the case of smoking, scientists understand how the chemicals in tobacco damage lung cells, leading to cancer. 7. Coherence The findings should align with existing knowledge and not contradict established research. The well-documented effects of smoking fit within the broader understanding of respiratory health issues. 8. Experimental evidence. If an intervention, such as reducing smoking rates, leads to a lower incidence of disease, it strongly supports causality. For example, as smoking rates decline, lung cancer rates also decrease. 9. Analogy. If a similar cause and effect relationship exists in another context, it can support causality. While this is considered weaker evidence, it can still be useful. For example, knowing that similar chemicals cause certain cancers makes it reasonable to suspect related substances may have similar effects. By considering these nine criteria, researchers can make informed judgments about the relationships between exposures and health outcomes.